Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. So today I wanna to discuss with you steps to overcoming adrenal fatigue. Now treatment for uh, adrenal fatigue is gonna involve reducing stress on your body and your mind, <clears throat> eliminating toxins, avoiding negative thinking, as well as replenishing your body with healthy foods, supplements, and ways of thinking. Now, if you're asking, how can I help my adrenal glands? Well, the answer may be closer than you think. Adrenal fat uh, fatigue treatment looks a lot like the healthy healing diets to help combat the underlying issues that are causing a number of conditions. So number one, step one, follow the adrenal fatigue diet. In every case of adrenal recovery, diet is a huge factor, and there are a number of foods that offer adrenal support, helping to replenish your adrenal energy so your system can come back to full health. But first, you have to start by removing any hard to digest foods and any toxins or chemicals in your environment. So the idea is to remove anything that taxes your adrenals. So some foods to avoid, caffeine, because it can interfere with your sleep cycle and make it hard for your adrenals to cover. Sugars and sweeteners. So this includes avoiding high fructose corn syrup and artificial sweeteners as well. And avoid sugary foods, cereals, candy, sweets, and be aware that sugar is an additive in many breads, condiments, and dressings. So try to avoid as much sugar as possible. Seek the benefits of raw honey or stevia as an alternative and also moderate your use of sweeteners of any kind. Now carbohydrates, while all carbohydrates aren't bad for you, the inflammation that they can cause is particularly problematic when you're experiencing adrenal fatigue. Many people are gonna crave carb heavy foods when they're stressed, which offer a momentary satisfaction but end up taxing the adrenal glands. So if you're overwhelmed and stressed out, try kicking the gluten and starchy carbs for a period of time to see that you know if that may regulate your tiredness and energy levels. Process and microwave foods. First of all, the microwave has its own dangers, but additionally, most microwavable ultra-processed foods have many preservatives and fillers that are hard to digest and are gonna wear out your body's energy and digestion cycle. Try to buy food on the outer walls of your grocery store and prepare your own food whenever possible. And processed meats that an overload of protein can stress your hormones more than you might think and the added hormones and lacking you know, nutrition in conventional processed meats, particularly red meats like beef and steak, can throw your system out of whack in quick succession. So when buying meats for adrenal support, stick to grass-fed beef and free-range chicken or turkey and you know, eat these protein-heavy meats only in moderation. And then hydrogenated oils. Vegetable oils like soybean, canola, and corn oil are highly inflammatory and can lead to adrenal inflammation. Try to only use good fats such as coconut oil, olive oil, um, and organic butter. Now, next you wanna add nutrient-dense foods that are easy to digest and have healing qualities. So some of the top superfoods for adrenal health are gonna be coconut, uh, olives, avocado, and other healthy fats. Um, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, things like that, fatty fish, wild caught salmon, free range chicken and turkey, bone broth, nuts like walnuts and almonds, seeds like pumpkin, chia and flax seeds, um, fermented foods rich in probiotics. These foods help overcome adrenal fatigue because they're nutrient dense, low in sugar and have healthy fat and fiber. Number two, you need to take adrenal fatigue supplements and herbs. So another big key to overcoming adrenal fatigue is taking the right supplements using supporting herbs. I always recommend eating the right foods to heal your body, but it can still be a challenge to get enough of every nutrient that you need every day. So it can be you know, useful to wisely use dietary supplements for vitamins and minerals, particularly vital for adrenal support. And in addition, there are certain herbs, spices, and essential oils that can help to fight adrenal fatigue and support an energetic, vibrant life. Ashwagandha herbs like ashwagandha, rhodiola rosea, and holy basil. Research indicates that aptogen herbs may help to lower cortisol levels and mediate stress response within the body. So by using these herbs, herbs in food preparation, you can alleviate some of the strain on your adrenal glands. Fish oil. There are a large number of benefits of supplementing with fish oil, okay? Several of these include counteracting a number of adrenal fatigue related symptoms and complications, things like diabetes, mental dysfunction, arthritis, immune system function, skin issues, weight gain and anxiety and depression. Magnesium. For some time, magnesium has been understood as one of the necessary nutrients for fighting adrenal insufficiency. Um, so you need to be aware of that as well. B-complex vitamins. Research have found that vitamin B12 deficiency may be associated with stress on the adrenal cortex in some animals. 
B5 is another commonly deficient vitamin in people with adrenal stress, especially if you're reducing or eliminating meat from your diet in order to fight adrenal fatigue, it may serve you well to take a high quality B complex vitamin supplement. Vitamin C, known as a stress busting nutrient, vitamin C has been found to minimize the effects of stress on people as well as reduce the time necessary to bounce back from stressful events. Vitamin D, in addition to maintaining homeostasis between magnesium and phosphorus in the body and supporting the strong bones, vitamin D has also, you know, more recently been seen to have an impact on other conditions, including adrenal dysfunction and disease. Selenium. At least one animal study has found that selenium deficiency can negatively affect uh, um, or impact adrenal function. Lavender oil. Human and animal studies show that lavender and essential oil has a calming effect that can reduce stress. And then rosemary oil. Rosemary uh, essential oil along with lavender can help to decrease cortisol concentrations and reduce oxidative stress on the cells. And lastly, reduce adrenal fatigue stress. The last and most important key to restoring your adrenal function is to actually heed your mind and stress needs and pay attention to your body. So rest when you feel tired as much as possible. Sleep at least eight to 10 hours a night. Avoid staying up late and stay on a regular sleep cycle, ideally in bed before 10 p.m. Laugh and do something fun every day. Minimize work and relational stress however possible. Eat on a regular food cycle and reduce your caffeine and sugar addiction. Exercise. Yoga in particular can help improve the quality of your life and reduce stress responses. Avoid negative people and self-talk. Take time for yourself and do something relaxing and seek counsel or support for any traumatic experience. Okay, so this is the method that you need to follow to overcome adrenal fatigue. That being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.